my name is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today is a haul. It is actually not a Bath & Waters haul, surprisingly. I actually went shopping. I have a big girl job now, getting big girl money. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That sounds very weird. But I am. I'm getting paid finally. I didn't have a job throughout college and that was my own choice. Looking back, it's like I regret, but I don't regret because obviously I wasn't making money. Um, but I... I, I use that time to, you know, do school and do really good in school and also have a bunch of friends and hang out with a bunch of friends all the time. So I didn't have a job and now I do and I'm happy about it. So I went to the stores, you know, the mall, and I went to a few stores and picked up some things. If you haven't already, I have, I think I posted my Bath & Wars haul, my latest SAS video. I went on the same day and then I did some other shopping after that. I honestly didn't want to do any shopping and the, unless I got something about Waters. So I was like, well, if it's nothing good there, I'm not going to find anything good anywhere else. And then I did find something and then I went to a few stores. So this is the haul that I got a few days ago. I went to, let's see, I went to Dry Goods, didn't find anything there. I did recently get a top at, a top at Dry Goods, like two things. Um, they're not going to be in this haul, but I surprisingly like Dry Goods. It's just a little pricey, um, but you know, it's hard to find something I really like there because it's super like trendy and a lot of things that are in trend are very cropped and I'm just not a fan of cropped shirts anymore. Honestly, like I want my shirts to be length. Um, so I didn't have any luck there, but I did have luck at Francesca's. So I went to Francesca's. I've always had a fan, been a fan of Francesca's. I think it's um, a little boutique that's super, super cute. And some things, you know, are completely overpriced, but I found twice, I found shirts for like $5 there. So the clearance is always amazing. So their deal was 50% off for members and 20% off jeans. But if you're a member, you get 50% off anything. And apparently I'm a member, so that was good. I tried out a bunch of things and I only ended up going with one thing. This top, that's so cute. It was $20. It was $40 and then I got 50% off, which is nice. But it is really cute and I sometimes just don't like justifying buying something that's really expensive. But it's super cute. I also have a try-on portion that's going to be somewhere on the side. But this is the top. It is like a, it's just like this. It's basically like a top, but it's like sleeveless. And then there's some cutouts out here and the material, I don't know if you can tell, it's almost like a towel leg, but it's not because it's like a sweater material. I love it. It's almost like the shirt I have on now um, because it has like the ties right here like this. I absolutely love it and I almost didn't get it and then I tried it on with the cardigan and it looks so good with the cardigan. So I'm definitely going to wear this to work. Oops, <laughs> my hair is all messed up. I'm definitely going to wear this to work because it looks so cute with a cardigan and so freaking like you can layer things with this make it look so cute you can put things underneath it and yeah so I'm excited I got this um hopefully you saw in the try on wherever I put it and yeah so cute so I got that at Francesca's okay so the next store I went to was the one and only H&M so if you guys don't know I used to work at H&M uh, about like a few years ago I guess like a little over two years ago gosh that's weird um but yeah I used to work there um, and I worked there for like two years, so nothing crazy. Um, but I used to shop there a lot. I have a lot of clothes from H&M still. And, um, I worked the bulk of my time working there was during COVID. So a lot of the clothes I bought, you know, even though they were in trend, they weren't really in trend because no one was going out in 2020. So I didn't like look on trend, I feel like. Um, but, um, uh, I tried on a bunch of those tops and, you know, one, it was 2020. I was just buying what I could and, you know, I got good deals because I had my you know, staff discount. But um, a lot of those now, I just like, you know, I'm growing, sadly. Some things don't fit anymore. But also, it's just like the style is not what I liked. And at one point, I thought I would like it. And now I'm like, why did I buy this? I bought I worn this like two times, one time. So I'm just trying to get more things that are universal. So I went to H&M and I got a lot of universal tops. So the first one I got was this. I already washed it. Hope it didn't shrink. You'll see in the try on. But this is what I got. I've always wanted a smocked top. I just love smocked. I think it is so cute. And the peplum, like smocked peplum, is something I've wanted for so long. And so, yeah, I thought this was so cute. And I almost didn't get it, but I love it. And I, I wish it was in black. Honestly, my new favorite color is black to wear. Um, but I need more white tops, I feel like, since I wear black slacks usually throughout the day. So I got this, and I'm obsessed with it. It is so freaking cute. I love smog. And it is... It's just so cute and like I've been wanting a top like this and I couldn't pass it up. So 
This was, oh, I think it was like $19.99. Pretty sure I'm going to see the tag. I think it's $19.99. It is $19.99. I kept the tag just for the sake of this video. Um, but yeah, it was $19.99. Got in a size medium. And, you know, if it wasn't a size medium, I wouldn't have gotten it because I was like, I'm not going to fit in a large and I'm not going to squeeze into a small. So I got this. I'm so happy about that. Um, let's put it all back over here. And then I got a few more things. So the next thing I got was I kind of have a top similar to this, but I couldn't resist because I love this tile top. It is just like a cute, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just a regular top, but it has like a square neck and it is literally so cute. Um, this was $9.99. And it's from the H&M section. I think this is from the H&M section, but I'm pretty sure it's log. There's like different variations. The tags mean something. Log is more lounge, like tropical beach wear. H&M is like the regular line. Um, and I just like, I'm so obsessed and I know I'm going to get so much use out of this top and it's so freaking cute. So I'm happy I got this. I do have something very similar to it, but I, the thing is, is like, I really wanted it. So I got it. If it was in a different color, like if this was in like royal blue or red or even like emerald green, I feel like those colors really like make my hair pop, make my, you know, eye color pop. Like I feel like a lot of colors I used to gravitate towards, I just like get washed out by them. I love the color. Uh, it's like a light blue. Like I just love light blue and I always gravitate towards light blue tops, but they just, I don't like that great not light blue tops, but it's a very pretty color, but it's kind of juvenile. You know, I'm 22 and I'm trying to get more, you know, and I have a job, like an actual part adult job, which is weird, but I'm trying to be more professional and stuff. I'm honestly on here. I'm not going to always be like, you know, this is professional. I mean, I wore this top today, but you know, it's not always going to be like that. I will wear a t-shirt here and there, but I can't do that at work. So I need more tops like these. Hopefully so I'm going to try on what it looks like. Um, the next thing I got was just another basic. And this is actually from Divided, which I used to shop at so much. You can see the Divided tag. This was $12.99. And it's just this regular basic gray. And I just love it because I need more basic tops. I think this was, like I said, good with layering, um, good with cardigans. I guess layering is part of the cardigans, but anything like casual. And I feel like I don't have enough of that. I feel like I always have to have like a pattern on it or something, or it does like fit it differently. But I got one of these and I'm obsessed. I have like two, maybe like, okay. I have like two, one other gray that's ribbed. And then I have a one that's ribbed, but long sleeves from H&M. The one that's gray and ribbed that's short sleeves is actually from pink and you can't even tell. Um, but yeah, so I got another thing and I just feel like it's a good staple piece for your closet. All right. The last thing I got H&M was actually some shorts. So I had bought shorts probably a little after COVID. I think it was in 2021 from H&M and they're the mom shorts. Super, super cute. I went on vacation with them. They were super cute. Then I washed them and they kind of got messed up on the, I'll show you like this part. This part got messed up because it was folded and now they don't fold as well anymore. It's totally my fault. I should just wash them separately or something. Um, but I still wear them. They're just kind of like all over the place, I feel like. So I got a new pair of black shorts. These are just the H&M shorts or the H&M tag. And these were $29.99. I almost wanted to get different color shorts because I feel like a lot of my shorts I got when I was like, you know, in high school or like right after high school. And I'm just like, I, I like fit into them still kind of, but like I obviously would like different shorts. It's just shorts are so expensive. So if I go thrifting, maybe I'll definitely film a thrifting haul because that'd be so much fun. But I'd probably look for shorts there that are light wash. But I wanted some new black ones, and I feel like this goes with so many things, obviously black. And they just go right out, and so I don't have to worry about the folding. You know, even though folding is super cute, and I love the mom jean style, it's just traumatized that I ruined them. Um, I got this in a size 8. I'm pretty sure I got the this in a size medium, and I'm pretty sure this is also in a size medium, because I love medium. Yeah, both the tops and the white one are in medium. I tried on a bunch of 6s. I don't fit in six anymore. I'm an eight. So, but H&M sizing is so weird. I swear. I bought a pair of jeans in a size six. I bought them originally in a four. Didn't fit. Got them in six. Perfect. They still really fit. Really, <laughs> they still fit really nice. And then I got the same exact style, different color in a size six. And they were like, I think too big or something. So I just like wanted to try. And if you're going to H&M, just try a bunch of sizes. Like, you might be like an eight in one style or different color and it's a different, yeah, it's just, you never know. So that's why I tried on the sixes and the eights. So went with those and absolutely love them. 
And then lastly, oh, there's nothing else in the bag. <laughs> lastly, I went to Dillard's. I don't have Dillard's back home. Um, this is my new home, but in like Chicagoland, we don't have Dillard's. So it's kind of like, I guess, like a Carson's. Have you ever heard of that? At least how my grandma explained it. Um, I went to Dillard's because of my grandma, because I was like, oh, she wanted me to check out this brand for her. Didn't find the brand. I know where the brand is. I'm going to try to help her online with stuff. Um, but I saw these two tops. I tried them both on and I was like, I don't need this. And then I got it. But I got this cute zebra pattern and it's a little short, but with high waisted um, slacks. It looks really, really good. Um, I was going to return it if it was too short because this is what I'm talking about. It's like super cute top, but it's like you have to wear high waisted things with it or else it is not gonna look good. Um, so yeah, I kind of don't like that trend. I wish charts would just go all the way down and I'm too scared to try bodysuits. <laughs> so that's another thing I could just try bodysuits, but I just refuse. So yeah, I got this at Dillard's. I think this was on sale for $14.99. No, $14.40. And the other top I tried on was like $10, but I didn't really love it that much. So got this one because this one is definitely a work worthy shirt. Um, what else was I gonna say? I forgot. But basically, that is my haul. I wish I got more slacks or like looked at slacks at H&M. But um, my grandma was really nice enough to just go buy me some slacks. So I'm good there. Um, but yeah, that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I haven't filmed a haul in so long. And it's because I'm broke. But I'm not anymore. But we don't need to spend money. You know, we have other actual bills to pay now. So we cannot be spending money on just hauling and bath and water. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in my next video. Hope you enjoyed the try on portion. Hopefully I did it well enough. I tried to do something different. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're not already, check out my Bath Mods Instagram. I know this is not a Bath Mods video, but go ahead and check that out. And if you're not already, subscribe. I mostly film Bath Mods hauls. And I'm trying to do a vlog soon for you guys. I got a video request to do a vlog. Well, not a vlog, but like to react to something. But I want to do it in vlog style. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. <laughs> we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in my next video. Bye.